Hey guys, this is Luthias, and in front of me I've got Raven, okay, one of the, in my opinion, one of the first entrepreneurs of Miscreated, that created servers, um, that made it very, um, how can I say, community friendly for people to pr play on, and definitely the first server that i really noticed because um they were posting regular regular photos of bases that just blew my mind so yeah it was almost impossible to ignore these servers and then in the past i've um, asked raven to help me with a few things i remember when the radiation storm came out and i didn't have my own server you know i popped into his test server and just asked him if he could kill me with the radiation storm so that i can showcase it you know and he was more than happy to um spawn those items in for me which yes, yeah. i love killing people <laughs> 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 which of course is one of the first thing that i realized is that his community is very chill very friendly and you know it was just a very very nice environment the few times that i did play on his server um, scoping out bases everyone i met um, you know, was really kind and helpful and everything and always asked me how they could help me, you know, like if I was a new player, um, I would have found it um, very helpful to play on this server because there's a lot of people on here with a ton of experience and yes, if, if you guys are needing any one-on-one -on -one help or if you guys want to make friends very easily, then this is definitely the server that I think you guys should play on. Um, because of the community and the experience, the amount of years that Raven has had these servers. I mean, the community has been built since the beginning. So these guys have just as much experience as me and even more. Okay, so please come here, ask questions and make friends because luckily now when you talk to someone, he can't kill you. Okay, he can ignore you, he can run away from you, but at least he can't kill you. So you know the the gates are open to communication and then we've got artemis which has been with him um since the beginning okay and she is handling the pr on the servers and then she builds bases as well and yes um i'm not sure between the two of you raven and artemis who spends the most times who spends the most time on the servers themselves on the actual Navgamore servers, that would be Artemis. Okay. Sure. Yes. My, my time is often spent also, as you know, on the dev servers and others. Okay, yes. So, um, of course, the Discord is open. Raven has told me that if people have any problems with it, you know, with anything, then they can just um, ask for help on the Discord channel, and usually you'll be helped within five minutes. And since Artemis spends quite a bit of time on the server, you know, I'm sure if you really, you know, if you really need someone to meet up with you or maybe try and help you, I'm sure she won't mind as long as it's not a hundred people, you know, one, <laughs> one every now and then is, is fine, but yeah, just not, um, you know, a whole horde at once, at I'm, one point. I'm, <laughs> I'm usually driving around. So if you need help, just. Okay, um, now I want to show you guys the main reason I, I fell in love with the server, okay? And it's not only because of Raven, it's because of the bases as well. So first question, Raven, what, I, um, what, is your, what was your main vision for this server before you created the server? What was your guys' vision with the server? Like, ha has, your, has the plans changed or where did you start and where did, where did you end up? Well, we started on PvP servers, but when we started the group, uh, it wasn't much uh, PvP orientated. I think I was mostly PvP orientated, so we decided to hop on a PvE server, and I believe within two, three weeks, they made us admins on that server. Okay. And we were good at it, and we were able to control the environment without any settings and offer a lot of help. And when that server slowly went, I decided to make Nevermore. So basically there's a server for PVE players to enjoy that will not shut down, that will keep on going 
whether it is with five people or with 36 people. It keep going strong and it has been going strong for quite a few years now with additional servers being added. No, no, I can, I can back that up. I mean, I've been here since the start. You've been here for, since the start. So yeah, there's no possibility of any shutting down or losing your base or anything like that. Negative, you're on the oldest Nevermore server right now. And it's been around for, I don't know, what was it? Three, four years now? Yeah. Three years, I think. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so basically just you wanted to, was that your initial plan? Um, although you were great admins, was that your initial plan to make it PVE focused from the start? Yes, from the Absolutely. start, there was, uh, it was a lack of PVE servers and there was a lot of people asking for PVE servers. And I wanted to make a great community from everything I learned out of that and a safe place for them to enjoy. Okay, and who would you like to give credit to with helping you to get to where you are now? Because I've seen you grow over the years and, um, you know, all the plans that you've been making and the amount of work you've put or help you've given to the community. So if you talk about your servers themselves, except for Artemis, which of course has been there since the beginning. Well, it it's the entire admin and mod group here. Some of them has also been almost since the start with us, or were added after a month. And they have been here and going strong with us ever since. You have Tavo Kans, as you've heard, he builds a lot. Okay. He's been with us since the start. Urn 11, and you also have Knight. He joined about a month later and uh, joined basically with me and added a PvP server to the Nevermore family from his end okay and Ank, uncle yeah and the mod group we have it's also our community and the we community wouldn't is be... the main part the community yeah. is the main part if there's issues uh, people from the community jump up and help us or help the players right away okay and <laughs> Each server, like the US server, and yes, guys, the, there's a US PVE server, there's a EU PVE um, server, the PVP server at the moment is which location? US based. Okay, yeah. so the PVP is US based. And then, do you go, how many times do you guys open up the, the open? The event server? Yeah. Uh, the event server is open up when we feel like we have rewards and everything and we can do an actual event for people that can enjoy and get rewards out of. Although with the last event, we noticed people don't want rewards as much. They just want events. So it's been a bit dry now because of the base building updates and such. But the plan is to kickstart it more often. Okay. A lot more often. And with mods and everything, we can do it a lot more often as well. Okay, yeah, guys, that's one fun aspect, you know, so um, events do happen. The one that I think is the last one they did or one of the ones that they mentioned to me was a Destruction Derby event, you know, in the destru in the Derby um, next right. to Pinecrest. And yeah, it, they said it was a heck of a lot of fun. And of course, <laughs> like, like you guys know, the more people that are, that are involved with stuff like that, you know, the more, the more fun it is. I mean, you've got a bunch of different characters there that you know just cause funny moments and of course you know cars crashing into, to each other is always fun um okay except for that um in your yeah you know, there's not your your whole server is vanilla okay that's the one point i want to get across to people except for people yeah, not the... being able to kill each other or raid bases everything is vanilla exactly Okay, so, so that way the people can feel the game as it was meant to be and they know what is a bug, what is not a bug. Often I get from people, they come to me, they say something is broken and I look into it and I dig into it, I spend an hour and then I figure out it's because they have a mod on the server and it broke something. But here this way people can see what is vanilla, what is as it should be. 
Okay, fantastic. Um, so yes, guys, this is basically an official experience with just a much more friendly community where you don't have to rage quit. So if you if you're tired of getting killed or you quit the game because you know you couldn't talk to anyone or you couldn't you didn't know the game very well and you kept on being KOS, you know, killed on sight, and it left a bitter taste in your mouth. You know, just remember there are servers like this where you can enjoy yourself, where you can become part of the community. And then of course there are role playing servers as well. Although um, I will do that at a later, later stage. Okay, this is the last server um, in my series that I'm going to do. And because I wanted to focus on the servers that really stood out to me um, with the years that I've been on Miscreated. So if there's any servers that I missed out on, Please add it in my Discord, and when I get back to this, you know, I'll I'll mention those servers as well. Okay, it doesn't matter if you've only got one or two players on your server. If you've got something unique to offer the community, I will let them know about it. Then, in the description, like always, I'm going to leave the Nevermore um, Discord. And then, um, yeah, I don't need to, uh, to leave any help sources because they are there. And then, yeah, I, I can't see this going any other way, but Raven, on your, in your opinion, what drew you to Miscreated? Okay. Um, what is, what is your honest opinion, uh, 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 <coughs> sorry, about Miscreated and what drew you to it in the first place? Well, it was a day when I was in the mood for a survival game. And I've played the Daisy before. I spent hours and I kept getting frustrated for all the bugs and the wipes and everything. So I was on Steam and I was simply, I was just downloading games, buying games, trying them, refunding. And then one of the games was this and 4,000 hours later, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Artemis, you? Uh, I... Raven actually uh, basically started... forced them into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, well, it was funny because Raven was playing constantly, and I've known Raven from before Miscreated as well. Um, but uh, he started playing, and I was like, "What are you playing that is so interesting?" Um, and then we joined. I remember we joined a quote PVE server, which was not PVE. We got run over. That was fun. <laughs> Uh, they ran, I was fighting. <laughs> yeah. Then you flipped the truck on me and I died. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, no, but what stood, what stood know, out to you when you were pulled into this game? The graphics. Uh, and I enjoyed the fact that it was all persistent. That there was no wipes in the game. Stuff like that. That was the starting point that uh, caught my interest because that was exactly what I was looking for. Okay, and Artemis, what what did you what did you notice first when you opened up this game? Uh, the actual uh, the graphics is were just beautiful. I remember seeing the first thing I saw was a sunset going down over the Brightmoor Bridge, and it, it, the water it was just beautiful. And then the persistence, and then, uh, you know, just the, the whole gameplay, was the survival aspect is, you know, fantastic. I know this is actually my first survival game I've played several after, and nothing compares. Okay, that's, that's a good message. And then the next thing is, Raven, your best memory in the four years that you've been playing this game. The, <laughs> the one memory that you can never, <laughs> ever forget. Oh my god. Oh gosh, there's so many. So many, like every time Artemis oh, runs me over with a car. Yes, that's like every that's week. I, my brain. Um, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think the best, one, the best one was either we pushed a a boat across Woodhaven oh, to get yeah. to the lake behind there and pushed it all the way up to the top to of the, the mountain. Top, basically to the top of the mega bunker. Almost. Right. There and was then no mega bunker back. There was no, no, that's not where it was. Uh, where the river is. Yeah. And uh, we we basically went whitewater rafting down that river. That was fun. Oh, how about uh, down the tube, the water tube with the jet ski? That was fun. 
I died. That's not fun. I died okay, too. Next. That's all right. We tried to, you know, that uh, tube right next to the, uh, like across from Cine yeah. the water tube. Yeah, yeah. We we were trying to drive a jet ski through that, and uh, I got stuck in the middle because I was too fat and I blew up. <laughs> <laughs> but you made it through. Yeah, you made I it did. through one time, and the second time you died, but. Yeah, you you guys you guys have done a bunch of experiments, eh, with blowing cars across a river and stuff like that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, we've, we've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> we've blowing up TV on uh, well, basically any car on that island. Yeah. Oh yes, we tried a tractor that didn't go far. The ATV went the farthest. Uh, we landed one on an island. So. It bounced yeah. off and blew up like though. I don't know. We, you know, we make our own fun. You know, that's part of the whole experience. Yeah, guys, that's really one thing that I that I noticed on PVE servers is that instead of killing one one another all the time, the people think of really fun things to do. Okay, like you know, pushing a boat to just go white water rafting, which you'll probably never think of on an official server because it's way too dangerous to push a boat, you know, that far. <laughs> And then, you know, blowing up vehicles, seeing if you can blow a vehicle right across a certain river or getting damage stats right to the, you know, um, not, you probably can't do it on people, but like, like I've s seen people blowing up cars and seeing, you know, what is possible with the game outside of PVE, which is always um, a lot of fun. And then, although it's not a role-playing game, I'm sure that you guys get together some days and just chat or you know, just have social meetings or something like that? Well, yeah, we also do other games, but we, we basically we chat while playing, even if it's something else. That's when we chat. Okay, and then there's no specific rules on the server, right? Because you are denying people of breaking the rules in well, any case. We do, we do have specific rules. They're all listed on our website or on Discord. Because we want uh, people to experience as much as they can, so it's not hoarded. For instance, like vehicles, tents, and things like that. No profanity, no insulting others on PV. Use common sense as our. Yeah, basically, it... I try to promote common sense amongst people. Okay, how are you guys limiting the vehicles thing? Because that's something I'm struggling with as well. And what's your rules on that? Basically, I only allow one vehicle per person. I don't care if it's alts. It's one person. You can have 10 alts, but only one vehicle. We try to allow people to experience as much as they can, so it's not all hoarded by certain individuals. How do we do it? We do it well, and we do it by hand. Okay. <laughs> Go individually, we base, base. We have base check. We scour the server every nook and cranny until I map out everything tag all the bases I can, cross references all by hand, and it's been working so far. I don't think there's been a handful of cases only in the past, but we, they were all sorted. Most people here are pretty honest. They, they feel the same way. They want to have other people experience the game as well. So, uh, I mean, of course you have an instance or two where people might have two tents or two vehicles and it, usually so when we approach them and they, they sort it immediately they didn't realize and they're apologetic yeah Make sure they don't do it again i keep a track yeah yeah i can relate to that okay so and then the the last question is simple i don't know if anything major is going to change but do you guys have any future plans any major i mean there hasn't been much changes in the last four years. Are you guys planning anything major? Server-wise or miscreated-wise? So, well, there's going to be the new map coming. That's going to be definitely something to enjoy. Yeah, wh wh what are you guys going to do with the desert map? Are you going to... I mean, you guys said, you know, the, the, the server is persistent, so no one is going to lose their bases. So yeah, the the PVs, the US and UK will definitely stay. Uh, we still need to talk about the desert map, though. Maybe it, it will be a new server we're gonna make, but we'll definitely open up something on the new map. 
Okay, and server-wise, nothing that you guys have spoken about this year. Nothing that you guys might dip your toes into or something that you guys are interested in doing. At this point... Just more events, I think. Yeah, because we have a good thing going. Okay. We have a good thing going, and other than that, I don't know. Yes, guys. We always, we, we, always uh, we do have a suggestion channel as well, where we let players uh, that play on our server suggest things. And I read through all of them as much as I can, and I doubt it. Okay, well, the interview basically went exactly as I thought, guys. Very steady, very friendly, very solid, you know, very persistent. And, um, you know, nothing nothing major that affects the player base in, in any negative way. And it's that consistency which I think has worked for Raven and, you know, um, Artemis over this long period of time. Um, and that's why, you know, the community has always been strong because there's nothing drastic happening. And that is one thing that I think you guys should take home with you if you ever decide to create a server. I know you'd like to create the server for yourself, but when you make major changes by the mood that you're in, you know, or the way you feel, you must remember that um, if you do not make your community part of those changes, then it can have a very negative effect on your server. And if you ever abuse any kind of power, doesn't matter how small it might be to you, um, the perception of your server is always very, very important. Okay, so always put the community first. And whenever you do something, think about the aftermath of your decision in the long term. If you'd like you know, your servers to prosper as um raven has made numerous you know um service prosper up to this point and i've never i have heard people talk about a lot of stuff you know there are trolls there are people that just live for complaining i can promise you guys in my four years i've never heard anyone say one single bad word towards raven or his servers so if you guys were ever wondering you know anything there's nothing to to wonder about okay now to get to the exciting part if you guys are wondering what the hell we're looking at then i'm going to turn around now and show you guys what nevermore is famous for this is it boys basically a ship brick built with creativity and yeah, if you go to the um, misgraded um, web um, or the misgraded website, you'll see a few images of it, you know, being showcased in various weather effects. But yes, this is what makes the Nevermore server stand out is the, the player's patience and creativity when it comes to base building. And Although they're not using any mods, okay, um, the the way that these players uses the average or the standard vanilla building system has amazed me right from the start. I mean, there was always screenshots that have been taken through the years, and every time I've seen a, a Nevermore base, I would use it as inspiration. What bothers me a lot is I forget a lot of what i've seen you know then when i try to use it i'm like in damn you know i don't know i don't know how the guy did that or i don't know i can't remember what the person did i remember once there was a base that looked like a military outpost with camo netting and the whole design of it was something like out of a movie and even though i stood by the base for about five minutes i just struggled to to um, redo it like that so yes if you guys come to the server run around because there are a ton of servers on the eu server and the e and the us server that can inspire you with a lot of things so if you run around the server look at a base take a few notes you know and take bits and pieces from every base you see and then you know who knows um Maybe you can tell Raven, you know, you made a masterpiece and he'll make sure it ends up on the Mistrader website. 
Okay, so yes, um, like I say on the website, you can see pictures of it. It's it's a really, really nice design. And the person who built it was? Tavans. Okay, um, now we are going to move to um, another base. So I'll be back now, guys. Okay, guys, so here we are at the Aztec Temple. Um, as Artemis just mentioned, there was a giant gnome here at the top and um yes um i found it very funny um like i've been i've been playing the game since the beginning but i always found it weird when i get onto certain servers and people praise the gnome okay i've <laughs> never really gotten it but if there's a server that quickly makes you realize the gnome has a big role to play it's definitely on raven servers um like literally the first time i saw this um temple i was like in okay you know um it's a thing people are praising the gnome so yes there's a lot of people in the mistreated community who's got memes or you know sayings um w with the gnomes so the gnomes play a very very big role in mistreated and again just a just a very nice idea um again from a distance you know in the right lighting everything makes a difference and i must say guys i've seen this thing at night um and yes you know there's a, nothing looks more spectacular with the right amount of lighting and ambience to showcase that i mean you know if you look at it from the right angle with the rocks and the trees and the forest in the background and the lighting then you really get that aztec vibe which is yeah, which is really really nice and yes there's an inside as well i think yeah 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 i've been inside here before so yeah <laughs> this is what the base looks like inside um of course he's got his um loot there but yes and th this was of course built before the um, I don't know if it's been updated, but I know this has been built before the um, snapping system. Yeah, pretty snap. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so these guys really, really know their craft. And yes, that's just another design and it amplifies the importance of the gnome itself. And again, see these lights, these yellow lights shining onto the stairs. That is that is what that is the effect that you can get at night. Okay, so if you can play on the server and it's night time, can make a turn here. You guys know where it is. There's my favorite cave. You know, there's my favorite radiation zone. So yeah, off to the next base and yes, can't wait to see something I haven't seen before. Okay, guys, um, great landmark there look at those tires <laughs> okay guys this was a community effort okay just like hollywood they've got nevermore there on the mountain which uh, was a community effort and yes um that is a heck of a lot of tires and it's just nice to see something like that that um you know improvised people working together Okay. Oh, Raven knows how to walk around. He knows how to walk around, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome to the White House. Okay. Proudly American. Uh, it takes some creativity to think you're going to build the White House um, in Australia, but that's what the guys do. No limitations. As you can see, the base is open. So it's... Yeah, no security around here. So it's much better than the real White House. You just walk all over the place. But yes. Very, very nice design. It's one of the bases that has been showcased as well. And again, at night... Um, Okay, it's it's getting you know it's getting dark, but at night again it looks very very nice, and yeah, that's the main that's the main thing on the server. There's just like no lack of inspiration or ideas, and I cannot tell you how many bases has been showcased on this server. 
It is um, it's insane. On a year, every single year, every single month. Okay, next on the list. Okay, guys, here we have the stadium. Of course, another nice place for events, you know, Rocky, Balboa, and the Russian just swinging at each other in the middle. I'm sure they've had much more creative ideas than that. We had our first server event here. Which was actually boxing. It was boxing. <laughs> we gave each player a, a, what was it, a football helmet and a baseball bat. Yeah. And they were naked otherwise. And we just let it let them have at it and uh one of our admins who wasn't an admin at, at the time actually won yeah you guys can sit here on the chairs take your binoculars for a close-up view okay just like they do at the real stadiums and yes um again nice nice ideas like this for events and for people just to come together on the server and have a lot of fun and i'm definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna do this not major events but I've even thought about just, you know, making a meal at my base and getting people together. And it might say, sound lame to you guys, but for me, I think it's, it, it, you know, it means a lot for people to come together and just have a meal at their base and just talk to each other like they would in real life. Okay, guys, this is Artemis' base. Um... It's near Brightmoor, and yeah, we're going to go look at that base up there now now as well. Um, but again, you know, very, um, very creative with the walls and simplistic in nature, but still very, you know, very um, attractive in the design and the simplicity of it. And yes, we were inside. She's a honey hoarder, you know, and um, <laughs> she's got a major problem with honey, just like Winnie the Pooh. So if you guys <laughs> ever need honey, you know, you can come here. She's... Nope, you can't. No. <laughs> it's all mine. Too bad. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> and she's got uh, Bumpty Dumpty, you know, and friends here on the, on the plot side. Uh, I, don't, yeah, I can't remember Snow White's Dwarfs now, but in any case. And yes, um, we're just going to go up to the top base. But before we go to the top base, I'd just like to end it here. I'd like to thank both of you for taking out the time, you know, to um, show the community um, what there is, you know, um, what, there is, what, what various options they have. And of course, just for doing what you've done, you know, for the last four years from my side, and you know a lot of the community i want to say thank you i don't think you guys okay i don't know if you guys get thanked a lot but i don't feel that the people who really put in the time and effort you know get thanked enough for what they're doing for the community instead of just doing it for themselves so from from my side yeah well done guys well done yeah that means uh, yeah. a lot yeah, and Raven, the fact that you've always just, you know, um, been friendly and seen the best in people, you know, and just always offer a helping hand. I appreciate that. And one thing that I want to mention as well, guys, is that um, there is negative perceptions about admins, okay? But on the server, they will never use anything, any unfair advantages, okay? There's no egos here. There's no, if, you know, if we don't like you, we're going to kick you off the server. So all the fears that you guys have or all the negative um, experiences you guys have had on power, you know, power hungry admins, there's absolutely zero of this year. Okay. The first time Raven helped me, I was no one, like nobody knew about me. Okay. And, um, the first, the first time I asked Raven to help me, he said, sure, you know, no problem. Not who are you or where do you come from or I'm busy or anything, you know. Not, I'm not saying he'll never tell you guys he's busy, all right? <laughs> of, course he's, of course he's busy. I'm just saying. I try to make time for everyone if I can. Right. 
Yeah. Okay. So that is the main focus point here is um, it's a friendly, relaxed environment, free of any toxicity. Okay. So if you guys have experienced any toxicity on by getting killed or by admins, um, you know, doing things that you guys weren't happy with or um, treating people favor favorably, that won't happen here, guys. And yes, this is my last server in the series. And yes, I'm glad that I ended here. And right at the end of the video, we're not going to talk much, but I'll just be walking around that base there at the top. And if we run into any bases, you know, that um, that I'd like, that I'd really like to show you guys, I'll just add that to the end of the video as well. But yes, never more, guys. US, EU, PvP, friendly. And again, one thing that I wanted to mention is a lot of people, I see there's a lot of people there that are struggling to make friends on Miscreated. This is the server to do it, guys. You don't need to try and see if you can make friends, you know. Like the, the footage that you see of me, of me, I'm probably lucky, guys. But if you guys are struggling with that, Please, if you want to make friends and want to be part of a community, just come here and there's nothing in your way of just talking to someone, you know, and not thinking about getting killed or whether you can trust them or whether you can't trust them. So all of those things are eliminated. So have fun. Cheers. And see you guys tomorrow. I'll be starting my brand new guide, which will be more in depth than any guide I've ever made. Cheers, guys. Have fun.